Welcome back, you guys, to Living in the Sacramento Suburbs channel. Today, we'll be talking about the 10 reasons why you may want to think twice before moving to Sacramento, California. While it is the state capital and has its fair share of attractions, there are some downsides to consider before packing your bags. Okay, so let's just get straight to it and dive in. The first reason is the climate. Sacramento experiences hot, dry summers and cool, wet winters with average temperatures reaching up to 93 degrees in July and August. It can be quite uncomfortable, especially if you're not a fan of the heat. Additionally, the city is prone to heat waves and droughts, which can exasperate the situation. Because of this, when pool homes hit the market, they tend to go pretty fast. So that is something to consider, either getting a pool home or getting one built when moving here. And honestly, we have great weather so you can realistically use your pool sometimes from April to late September. We got a pool put in a few years ago and we absolutely have no regrets. One of the best additions for our family. Another issue is the air quality. Sacramento suffers from poor air quality due to its location in the Central Valley, which traps smog, smoke from the fires, and other pollutants. This can lead to respiratory issues and make outdoor activities less enjoyable. If you have allergies or asthma, this is something to consider before making the move. Sacramento has been dubbed the city of trees, so if you don't want to deal with all the pollen and allergies, this may not be the place for you. Everyone in my family except me suffers from allergies. The kids and the wife take daily medication and the kids even take weekly allergy shots that seem to help. So maybe there is light at the end of the tunnel for you if you do decide to make the move here. Reason number three, traffic. Just like many major cities in, Sa in California, Sacramento has its fair share of traffic congestion. While it may not be as bad as either Los Angeles or San Francisco, the city's infrastructure struggles to keep up with the growing population. This can lead to longer commute times and added stress for those who work or attend school in the area. But if you plan out your commutes properly, you can sometimes avoid the heavier traffic times by leaving a little early or waiting for it to die down some. Reason number four, the high cost of living. The cost of living in Sacramento can be quite high. Although it's more affordable compared to the Bay Area, housing prices and rent are still significantly higher than the national average. It's important to consider whether you'll be able to afford the lifestyle you want in Sacramento before making the move. The medium home price is 459,000 as of April, 2023. Now, if you're coming from the Bay Area or Los Angeles, this can seem very affordable. But if you're coming from out of state where it's much cheaper, pretty much anywhere in California is going to seem high to you. This chart here from bestplaces.net, and if you look at the overall cost of living and housing categories, you can see that Sacramento is higher than the national average, but also lower than California's average. Reason number five, the limited job market. While there are job opportunities in Sacramento, the job market may be limited for certain industries. The city is known for its government, healthcare, and education sectors. But if you're in a specialized field, you may find it challenging to find a job that matches your skill set and experience. However, I have noticed we actually have quite a few big tech companies and that there are always new ones coming to the area. While the job market may seem limited at the moment, we can only expect the opportunities to increase as the city continues to grow. Bosch has recently planned to invest over $1.5 billion to the area, which will be huge for the local economy. Okay, we are halfway through our list. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications on for more content about living in Sacramento and its surrounding areas. Also, comment below if there's anything specific that you would like to know more about. All right, let's get back to our list. Reason number six, lack of entertainment options. Sacramento does have a growing art and food scene, but it lacks the diversity and depth of entertainment options compared to bigger cities like Los Angeles or San Francisco. So, if you're someone who thrives on an active nightlife or enjoys attending major concerts and events, you may feel limited in Sacramento in comparison to those larger cities. However, Sacramento has attracted a lot more major performers over the last couple of years with the addition of the Golden One Center 
and Thunder Valley's Casino and Resort's brand new indoor venue. Reason number seven, crime. While crime rate in Sacramento is not the highest in the state, it is still a concern. Some neighborhoods experience higher rates of property and violent crime, which can be a deterrent for potential residents. It's crucial to research the area you're considering moving to and weigh the risk. You can visit cityofsacramento.org to view the city's crime statistics, which I have included in the link below. Reason number eight, public transportation. Sacramento's public transportation system is not as robust as those in some other major cities. This means that residents often rely on their cars to get around, which contributes to the traffic congestion mentioned earlier. If you don't have a car or prefer to use a public transit, this could be a major drawback. If you don't have a vehicle, I would highly suggest getting one if you decide on moving here. Reason number nine, allergies. Sacramento's location in the Central Valley means that it's surrounded by agricultural land. Sacramento was once dubbed the city of trees. This can be a problem for allergy sufferers as pollen and other allergens are prevalent, especially during the spring and summer months. Many people I know who have bad allergies take allergy shots to help them through the allergy season. Now, I don't have bad allergies myself, but my wife and kids get hit pretty bad sometimes when they forget to take their daily allergy meds. So, if you're sensitive to allergens, this is something to consider before relocating here. Last but not least, reason number 10, distance from major cities. Sacramento's distance from major cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles can be a downside for some people. If you have family or friends in these cities or enjoy visiting them frequently, the drive can be tiresome. However, there is Sacramento International Airport that has flights coming and going from just about anywhere in the world and is only about a 15 to 20 minute drive from the center of the city. And to be honest with you guys, Sacramento is actually conveniently located between Lake Tahoe and the Sierra Nevadas to the east and San Francisco and other coastal cities to the left. It is really just a short hour and a half to two hour drive to either one. So there you have it, the 10 reasons why you may not want to move to Sacramento. Let's quickly recap them. Climate, air quality, traffic, high cost of living, a limited job market, lack of entertainment options, crime, public transportation, allergies, and distance from major cities. While Sacramento does have some drawbacks, it's essential to remember that every city has its pros and its cons. If you're considering moving to Sacramento, it is crucial to weigh these factors against the benefits the city has to offer. Do your research, visit the areas, talk to residents, get a comprehensive understanding of what living in Sacramento will be like for you. So if you are even thinking about moving to Sacramento region next week, next month, or even next year, you gotta give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom in the description below. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when making the move to the Sacramento area. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.